Hello, Oscillate Sync here, and today I'm excited to share with you my new free sample pack called DRM1 Four Ways. And by way of introduction, the track you can hear now is made exclusively using these samples. The sample pack is available for download on Gumroad, and you'll find a link to that in the video description. The pack is priced as pay what you want, which absolutely includes free. So if you can't afford to pay for them or just want some samples for free, then please grab them and enjoy them with my blessing. But if you want to chuck a couple of quid my way to help support the channel, then as always, your support is so, so appreciated. And anything I make will go towards helping me make better videos about more wonderful synths. So for those of you who just want the vital statistics, the sample pack is made up of 113 samples taken from the Vermona DRM1 drum synth, and each of those samples has been processed four different ways to make for a total of 452 samples. I'll get to what those four different flavors are in a moment. The DRM1, for those of you not already acquainted with it, is a wonderful fully analog eight voice drum synth that is proudly not one of the classic Roland boxes. It has a wonderfully raw and stridently electronic vibe and has incredibly wide range in controls, which is why at least one of the kick drum samples was actually generated by the snare voice. See if you can spot which one. The sample pack comprises all of the usual suspects, kick, snare, clap, cymbals are all present and correct. The samples marked as drum are where you'll find toms, congas, wooden sounds, along with other electronic blips and bleeps. The samples marked as multi all originate from the awesome multi voice on the DRM1, where you can expect to find glassy and metallic plinks, zaps, and techno stabs. Finally, there are the samples marked as tone. The flexibility of the DRM1 means that a lot of the voices can be stripped away of their drumminess, and you're left with a very cool, raw synth tone. I've taken a bunch of samples with the voices set this way because they're great for melodic and harmonic parts too. All of the synthy sounds in this demo song come from that pool of samples. The tone samples are all tuned to C where possible, although the pitch and frequency knobs on the DRM1 are pretty sensitive, so please forgive a stray scent here and there. In terms of the four different flavors of samples, the first is marked as raw and it's just as it sounds. These samples were taken straight from the individual outs on the Vermona, in through my AudioFuse Studio interface, and topped and tailed in the door. No additional processing was applied. These will be great if you want to apply your own processing or if you're using them in an environment like uh, Ableton Drum Rack or Ultrabeat in Logic, where you have the flexibility to apply processing in real time. Also on a personal level, I think some of the higher pitched and noisier cymbal and multi samples sound the sweetest in their raw guise, but your mileage may vary. Next we have the samples labelled as punch. These samples have been processed in the box with a plug-in chain to add more punch and thwack and a bit more sustain. These samples are also a bit more focused in the mid-range and generally sound more finished to me. These are going to be useful where you want to access the basic tone found in the raw pack, but you're using them in an environment where you need the samples to sound like a finished track. So I'm thinking hardware samplers, especially or building set and forget kits in the box. For those of you who are interested in the plugin chain, it goes Air Windows Tape, which is a great, simple, and free tapifying plugin, which is just doing a little bit of smoothing out of both the transients and the top end. Brainworks Focusrite SC Channel Strip. This is doing most of the transient shaping, enhancing the front end attack of the note and bringing up the sustain and body. It's also doing some analog modeling fairy dust as well. Sometimes I'll load this plugin on a track and just leave it there doing nothing because it's doing something that makes things sound a bit larger than life. I like it. After that we have Phil's Cascade which is a model valve saturation unit. I'm using it here as a bit of an enhancer for the samples. It's not obviously distorting which it definitely can do when you push it. More just adding some push to the sound, sort of like a bring forward in the mix control. Finally there's Dangerous Backs which is hands down my favourite EQ plugin for general tone shaping. Every jam I've recorded in the last year will have this on the master. It's gorgeous sounding. Here it's just doing a really good job of a wide smile curve, polishing up the highs and lows nicely.
The next flavour is called Grit, and if I'm being honest, this is probably my favourite of the four. Here the samples are being reamped through a fantastic pedal called the Accomplished Badger, made here in the UK by Frederick Effects. The Badger is a Germanian preamp pedal that's quite unlike a lot of other overdrive pedals, and trust me, I own a lot of them. It reacts more like an old mixing desk being driven hard to my ears, and here it's been used on a low gain setting to give the samples some real analogue grit. I love how focused and characterful the mid-range is on these samples. Snares and claps in particular sound really full without being too aggressive, and you can hear the pedal acting a bit like a compressor as the circuit tries to catch up with the transients. It's a sound character that I really like, which is why I had to try pushing it further. The final of the four flavours is called Smashed, and it's the sound of germanium transistors being pushed too far. This is the accomplished badger preamp hanging on for dear life in the face of too much gain. Honestly, some of the lower pitch samples get pretty much destroyed by this setting, but can be very cool in the right glitchy context. Snares, claps and cymbals absolutely smack, almost like some kind of analog chip tune hybrid on some samples. This might not be the flavour that you reach for if you want conventional drum sounds, but in the right environment, these might be a secret weapon. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy these samples, and if you did, please do give the video a thumbs up and maybe share it with any like-minded musicians. It really helps to spread the word. If you make music with any of these samples, please let me know, either in the comments or on Facebook, Twitter, etc. I'm really excited to hear what you create with them. Anyway, as always, thanks for joining me. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.